It's the party of the year. It's great. The cars are lined up, I don't know how far down. It is the event of the year in New York. And I love going into the museum when it's closed. This is a madhouse. Yeah. I've never seen a press line on both sides upstairs with people yelling. That's pretty mad. It's an amazing night. It's a mix of fashion and Hollywood music celebrities. Invariably billed as the party of the year, the Metropolitan Museum's annual gala to benefit their Costume Institute was not your average fundraiser. This season's guest honored Coco Chanel. She really was the first woman to understand how modern women then and now want to dress. She got women out of corsets and into cardigans and easy suits. For me, Chanel is like this legend who made clothes that were so beautiful, and women looked so beautiful in them, and you saw them, you saw people wore them. You'll find models wearing a Chanel jacket with jeans, or you'll find, you know, my grandmother loved to wear Chanel. She was really the first designer to put women in what we now consider a contemporary wardrobe. I think she was an amazing woman. She was intelligent, she had a lot of elegance, personal style. Virtually everything that is in the exhibit can be worn tonight. I think of um, trousers on women for the first time in history. I think of that guy, Karl Lagerfeld, with the ponytail and the glasses. That's good branding. You know, you have to constantly tweak things to make them valid. Carl's done an incredible job of that. He's made it cool and funky and fresh and modern always. He's totally immersed in the world of Chanel. Mr. Lagerfeld just is in a world of his own and a league of his own and I mean anything he does just is amazing. So what can I, what else can you say? Commonly known as the Kaiser, Carl was on hand to survey the scene earlier in the day. Rather than a retrospective about Chanel, we were much more interested in what were those iconographic elements that made her uh, a fashion presence. And we thought, well, this is our strategy. What we'll do is we'll take the Carl piece, juxtapose it with the Coco piece, and have a kind of dialogue between the past and the present that would allow everybody to understand uh, what made a Chanel a Chanel. It's not a kind of a retrospective. It's a, it's a presentation, an exhibition of a name whatever happened under that name during 100 years. That's an interesting thing. I mean, this looks like it could be the wardrobe of a very well-dressed woman from the best dress list from 2005. I think what's interesting is to show that a fashion label can exist for 100 years huh, and stay trendy. This Chanel jacket today, a real one or a fake one, is like a t-shirt or a jeans or a pair of sneakers. It's really a basic fashion item. It's a uniform you can play with. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's not a boring uniform. It goes with a lot of things. Huh? You know, you have to update things for the times we are living in, so that's not changing. Mm -hmm. That is a, a healthy evolution, if not, it's dead. You get the feeling that if Coco Chanel herself were alive right now, she'd be doing pretty much what Carl's doing. 